Well, I tell you, it was nice to uh, get back in the uh, win column. Um, you know, it always feels uh, great to be able to, um, you know, start the week off as a positive note. And, um, you know, guys felt great about their performance. And I would say this, uh, there's still a lot of improvements to be made. You know, when you look at the first half, uh, seven points, a total of 112 yards, uh, that was pretty impressive. But uh, the way we finished was not. Uh, very disappointing in regards to that. We gave up too many points in the fourth quarter. Uh, you saw a lack of fundamentals and technique, uh, something that we got to make sure we continue to emphasize and focus on uh, to be a good football team, be a good defense. And we got our hands uh, you know, uh, full this weekend. When you start talking about A&M and a great football team and, and the great win that they had against Alabama. So um, when, it, when, when you look at uh, the task at hand, uh, I, I told the guys today, and Coach talked about it as well, the focus is on us. You know, uh, we got to worry about what we have to do in trying to prepare ourselves. Uh, again, competing against ourselves each and every day. I thought today's practice was great. Uh, the guys were locked in, point of emphasis. We talked about physicality and effort, and you saw that play last week uh, throughout the game on Saturday and us making plays, and that's going to be the key for us this week uh, and, and not really focusing on the guy across from us. I've always said this for years, is that, you know, you can't cover a reputation. Uh, you got to cover a man. All right? So we're, we're not getting caught up in who uh, 85 may be, all right? who 28 may be. Uh, whoever has the ball, whoever plays, we got to tackle the guy with the ball. All right? We got to cover. All right? We got to get off blocks. We got to use our hands and be violent at the point of attack. All right? So that's going to be our focus as we move forward. Questions? I think that's exactly what you just said. You saw the difference that we penetrated. We created a new line of scrimmage. I thought we did a great job of getting off blocks. You know, there's times that we may be in our gap. Being in our gap is not enough. We got to strike and shed, and we got to make tackles. You saw that up front with the guys creating uh, TFLs, tackle for loss right here, and creating negative plays. And that's exactly what we got to have this week. Uh, I think, number one, uh, Coach is right with his approach. You know, we're trying to create competition. We're trying not to get complacent and let guys get comfortable in their roles. You know, you know guys got to compete every day to earn their spot. And that's what you saw last week. That's what you're seeing this week. Uh, in regards to Tennessee, you know, that's behind us. Uh, didn't do a great job there. We moved forward. And right now the focus, once again, is just make sure, making sure that, you know, fundamentally we're sound. Uh, technique, we're sound, and we're doing a great job executing our assignments. Steve, you might talk today about the importance Well, you, you look at eye discipline, all right, dirty eyes, guys letting their man run free. Uh, you look at uh, missed tackles. Uh, you can look at guys being in position and not finishing. And then you can also look at me putting them in better position right here for us to call. So there's a combination of both, but, you know, we all got to execute. And you're right. Coach is right. We can't give up explosive plays. We got to make uh, whoever we're playing, particularly this week, they got to earn it. You know, we can't give them big plays. Not a good football team. Well, I think, once again, the level of competition, you know, again, when we said, you know, there's no depth chart. Who performs well this week is going to play. And those guys stepped up and they performed well. So I saw the urgency in practice. I saw the violent hands. You see one play that happened in the game. I thought Chad Bailey did a hell of a job, you know, shedding the block, ripping off, making the tackle. And he did the same thing that particular week in practice. So, again, the way you practice is how you're going to play. And that's what we're trying to create. Well, I think as a, as a whole, uh, not so much the defensive line, uh, I think the defense as a whole, you know, they've had uh, their meetings outside with the coaches and talked about, once again, playing for one another. Um, you know, that trust level and not being selfish and doing your job and executing your assignment. So you saw a lot of that 
uh, Saturday, and particularly, as you mentioned, you saw a lot of it up front. Well, you no, know, as we break things down as coaches, when we went back to our four down look, um, we were able to, you know, neutralize the run game and certain things like that. Uh, I take responsibility for that. You know, we, we thought we could probably get, catch them with something, change the look up a little bit, uh, and, and we didn't execute it well. So we went back to doing what we do best, and uh, you saw the, uh, I guess, calming the waters the second half. Well, I, I, I saw it live Saturday night watching the game, and I thought he did a tremendous job. Um, yeah, he played his best game thus far this year. And, you know, uh, accuracy was there. You know, uh, I thought he had a little bit of pause in the pocket. You know, again, he's not a guy that's going to constantly beat you with his feet, but he can avoid the rush and get outside the pocket and buy some time. Uh, and I just thought, you know, again, his arm strength and accuracy was there. So. Uh, again, we got our hands full. We got to do a great job of trying to disrupt timing with those receivers, you know, and throw things off with, you know, our press man. We got to get our hands up uh, at the line of scrimmage, and mo most importantly, we got to get to the quarterback. You know, we got to, you know, beat one on ones up front, create a new line of scrimmage, and uh, not give them all day to throw the football. I think that was our approach, and I think, you know, when you look at the results from that based off practice and some of the things that happened in the game, I would say yes. And um, that's the mindset uh, moving forward. And, you know, Coach Drink has set that uh, with the whole team. You know, no depth chart, guys competing each and every day, still trying to earn their spot. And that's what we want. We want guys not to get complacent, as I said before. Uh, I would say yes, and it started early on. He just he just had a different spark about himself. Uh, that one play with uh, KD when he got the interception on the sideline, you saw him and uh, Makai Wingo. Uh, that effort really forcing the quarterback to throw a televised throw I thought was great. And then, again, that really doesn't go down in, in, in the books, but he was a major factor on the tip ball and the interception with Makai again. So uh, I thought he was very active throughout the game. Yeah, um, you know, again, by committee, you know, guys that are playing well, would, you know, would get more of the reps there. And once again, based off practice, um, Ennis is doing great. Had an opportunity to go over to NCM yesterday. Unfortunate, but again, it's part of the game. we got to move on. Uh, Darius Jackson, an opportunity for him to be able to step up and do some great things. Uh, played in the game, you know, a little undisciplined. He was one of the guys with their eyes in the backfield giving up something, but he's going to learn from that. That's that's what a, a freshman does, a young rookie. So uh, I like him. I, I think he has a lot. Uh, uh, his high, He had a high ceiling. He's going to grow. He's going to be a good football player for us. So that's just something for him to learn from. I think Trajan was, was one of those guys when you start talking about, you know, some of the conversations and the meetings that they had, uh, he was definitely a guy that stepped up. So I was very pleased to see that leadership uh, come out of him.